Welcome back to 23 Minute Reads with me, Maya D. This is kind of like my virtual book club because in these five minute or so videos, I share with you my takeaways from my current reading. Right now, that is Undergraduate Research in Dance. As a part of my 23 to 23 challenge, I'm reading 23 minutes per day, every day as an action of self-love, as an investment into myself, and as a way of providing myself with some consistency in an ever-changing world. Hoping that you will join me along in this journey by liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and leaving some comments down there in that comment section so that there's an actual dialogue going on. Having in mind that while I have several decades of experience as an educator, as a curriculum writer, as a dancer, I'm not the know-all be-all for this book. I'm simply providing a space for dialogue. Well, this week I read pages, oh my, 69 through... 111 and here are my takeaways let me get my notes takeaway number one is a gracious invitation this term is taken from former dance critic jack anderson and is used to explain the function of the program note while some people believe that dance speaks for itself and needs no explanation some other people believe differently so this is why this program note is it can be useful in some cases. For example, maybe there are some keywords in your title that if the audience had a better understanding of that word, um, it would provide them some context and a knowledgeable way to enter into the performance and to better understand what is going on in the performance. This is not to be confused with an artist statement because an artist statement actually describes the process by which that piece of art was created, not the, uh, the director's note. They're a little different. So a gracious invitation into experiencing the piece. Takeaway number two is clarity. Over the past few videos, I've said how much I wish that I had this book during my undergraduate research. Um, if you haven't watched the previous videos, I completed my undergraduate research in, um, in dance, of course. One of those experiences included me traveling to the Ivory Coast to Cote d'Ivoire. And I feel like if I had this book, this book right here, this book right here, I feel like my experience would have been different. Um, I, I do believe that I did the best that I could, but I think back and reflect what else would have come from that experience had I had this book. So with that in mind, last week in our faculty meeting, I suggested this book, Undergraduate Research in Dance, and also Dr. Lynette Overby's other book, Public Scholarship in Dance, to my colleagues so that we could have a unified space to pull from when creating standards and expectations for our students, specifically um, around their portfolios that they're expected to use. And I feel like if we have this resource and that other resource, that we can better facilitate a successful experience for our students. Takeaway number three are clues. Have you ever heard that statement, success leaves clues? It's a little easier to be successful when you have a map or some type of format to follow. I think that we can all agree with that kind of statement. Here's a quote from the book. Engaged scholarship in dance involves development, implementation, and assessment of scholarly projects that are mutually beneficial to the community partner and the researcher, end quote. In the Public Scholarship in Dance chapter of the book by Dr. Lynette Overby, she offers five clues, five steps for creating engaged scholarship projects in dance. They are, one, identify a shared interest. Two, establish a plan to fulfill the community and the university's interests. Three, foster, excuse me, foster reciprocity and mutual recognition, four, assessment, and five, lay foundations for continued engagement and dissemination. I will be providing that list to all of my students 
that are interested in doing some research so that they have those clues, those traces, those, uh, that format, that structure for success. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Please help this channel to be successful by liking, by subscribing, by sharing this video or the channel with someone you think might be interested. Stay blessed, spread a good word, and I'll see you soon.